Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy Monday. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Kicking off the week, right? I hope, had, ev I hope everyone, let me just speak English for a second. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. We had a gloomy one. It was weird weather here all weekend, but it is gorgeous out today. You can see the sun is shining. Beautiful skies, 80 degrees out. Feeling fortunate and lucky to be here. Feeling blessed. And speaking of feeling blessed, the Easter decor has arrived here at Walt Disney World. So we're gonna go check it out today. And I know in the caption it says, the Grand Floridian and the Contemporary. Well, that's where we're headed. I thought it would be fun to give you a little bonus leading into the stream. We'll take a monorail ride over and get a construction update at the new tower here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, or as we affectionately call it, the Polyday Inn, which is hilarious. I believe Brandy came up with that and it's fantastic. I also just love the vibes of the Polynesian. I will ask a big favor if you could please hit that like button. It really does help. It brings people in. It helps us with the algorithm. And for some reason, when we hit 100, YouTube gives us a lot of extra love. So we try to hit 100 as fast as possible. And if you're uh, brand new to the channel, please. Consider subscribing. You can give it a try. Ohana check-in area, Tambu Lounge. Big line for the elevators. If you've never been to this resort, we are here pretty often. You can check it out here on the channel. Just search. You can search a channel. Did you know that on YouTube? So after this, if you wanna see more of the Polynesian or streams that involve the Polynesian, just type in, go to my channel, hit, type in Polynesian, boom. All right, we're going through metal detectors. Disney doesn't like to be filmed. Hold on one sec. I was pumped. Robert D. sent me a text today that the uh, Disney Day Drinkers Club, it's a gigantic group on Facebook. We're talking about the Pete Carney Margarita over at Animal Kingdom today, which is fun. I like that people are finding out about it. It's like a secret, but it's fun to like tell people. Like it's not on the menu, but uh, and obviously not a lot of people know about it, but Jimmy hooks it up. So if you're ever over at Animal Kingdom, and you're at the Restaurantosaurus Lounge, which is over by Dino. Then uh, go get a pea carne margarita. But yeah, happy Monday. Like I was saying earlier, we're waiting for a monorail. We're going to take a little monorail ride over to the Grand Floridian. Get a construction update on the new tower they're building. They put in the windows, I believe, uh, this past week. And then we'll uh, go look at all the Easter decor. And we're going to do both the Grand Floridian and the Contemporary. Here comes our ride. I was about to put my face on camera, but this is such a better view pulling in. Let's go back, say hi to Mike Graney, Peaches P, my man Pete Stummy, Lynette, David Long, Sivak Co, Shannon. Said it reporting early and on time. I love it. Shout out to Robert D again, who's here hanging out. Captain Kirk, Lady Kirk. Uh, Captain Kirk says, any St. Patrick's Day plans? There's a few different plans. I have to iron that out. But everyone will know for sure. We'll definitely do something. Hey, D-Lo, what's going on?
Hello to Ghost Host. <laughs> David Long, the Poly O Nisian Hotel. Colleen Kidder's here. What's up? Queen Colleen in the house. I like what you did there. So I hope everyone's having an eggs excellent today. We're going to go look at some amazing Disney Easter eggs. And not in the parks. Actual Easter eggs. Glad you're feeling better, Colleen. Becca Kennelly, what's going on? So some dying to see the Easter decor. I really want to see the Alice in Wonderland one. We're going to show you everything. That's the plan, at least. Robert E says, I always ride in the very last car. No one goes back there. All right, let's go. We'll do this for Robert D. Riding in the back of the bus. Well, I guess the back of the monorail. This car is wide open, though. But let's go all the way to the back. Oh, snap. Robert Colden. We got a whole car to ourselves. I don't think this is... Maybe this happened to me once. But not on a live stream, I don't think. This is fun. It's just me in a monorail. Having a good time. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. So much room for activities. So much room. Monorail car to myself. I just want to sing about it. All right, enough's enough. We're taking the monorail because one, it's cool. Two, I didn't know we were going to get this whole car to ourselves. Shout out to Robert for saying walk to the back. But we want to give you a construction update, so let's do that. Instead of looking at this big red face, please hit the like button, by the way. But let's give you a construction update of the tower, what we call the Holiday Inn. Let's look at the beautiful resort. So you see some paint went on, the primer and paint. Windows went in. Some balcony doors went in. No guards on the balconies yet, but it looks like the glass went in. Except for the lobby, because uh, they're still using it as an active uh, construction entrance and exit. But it's coming along. I could see it by the end of the year. I could see it. There's the wedding chapel at the Grand Floridian. Hello, Jason. <laughs> Nice pool day. It's crazy. I keep forgetting. I mean, it just turned March. Uh, we are we are in the month of March, which I keep forgetting. But still, March is typically, you know, people are talking about St. Patrick's Day plans. I'm in still in New York mode, even though I've been here, I don't know, four and a half years. But Lauren was like, hey, what day next week is good for, she's got a friend that wants to come over and hang out by the pool and like do our workout together and hang by the pool. And I was like, it's March, but then I forgot it's 80-something degrees outside already. So that makes sense. Makes sense. It's crazy because it went from, like, so cold. We had our coldest January here ever and rainiest uh, since we moved here. And then all of a sudden, like, a week, it just flipped the switch. But that's Florida for you. Please remember to collect your belongings and take them shortly by the hand. Off we go. Thanks, Monorail Orange. You were delightful. Happy birthday. <laughs> Speaking of construction updates, uh, still getting some love here at the Grand Floridian. and they're undergoing a big refurb. This has been going on for a bit now. You can even see the scaffolding off to the left. Thanks. So when you get on the monorails, you go through security like we did over at the Polynesian, which is nice because it saves you a step if you are staying at uh, the Polynesian, the Grand Flow, or the Contemporary of once you arrive at the Magic Kingdom, you can just walk right in and not do security again. Here we are. It smells so good. 
The Grand Cottage is open from nine to nine. It's right down there in this beautiful, beautiful lobby. I love walking in here through the monorail entrance because you just get this big reveal on the second story. So they have the Easter egg display down back behind the Grand Cottage, which we're looking at right now. And uh, ooh, it looks like we have another little chocolate display here in front of the bird cage. Let's go down and take a look. Um, it seems like, uh, uh, let's see. If there's any connection issues, I know as we go in and out of the resort, sometimes it tries to link to Wi-Fi. Just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. We're doing both the Grand Flow and the Contemporary and another monorail ride, at least one or two. So don't go anywhere. That's why it's great if you subscribe and you have that bell on and you hit all notifications. You'll get notified when we go live. But also, if you lose service, you'll pop right back. So here we go. We just came in from right there. That's where we were standing. Here's the grand cottage. But first, let's start over here. Bobby, I have always loved the movie Moana. And on a recent trip to the Polynesian Resort, I saw an angry coconut display. I immediately thought that would make a great egg showpiece. And Fabi did a great job. This is all chocolate that looks awesome then look at the size of this looks like james and the giant peach it is krista says when i was younger i loved the movies that utilize stop motion animation i thought it was such a creative way to make film and wanted to bring that to life in my james and the giant peach egg this year and look at the size of that chocolate peach. Disney culinary team crushing it. Robert Deese's piano player should be out soon. I love it. This is Robert Deese's home. Thanks for letting us stay, Robert. We appreciate it. Brandy in the house. What's up? Sean Urban, what's going on? Thanks for the kind words on Facebook. I appreciate that. High score, Jason. All right, there's a big line here, so we don't do lines. We just come back. So they're decorated on both sides. We'll show you the front first, then we'll come back around the other side. But these are some super cool ones out of the gate. Remember, this is all chocolate. sword in the stone easter egg with the sword coming out the top the paint on the front little fishies under the sea Juan made this and I love watching the sword in the stone as a kid I watched it every day and I wanted my egg to reflect the most thrilling scene in the movie my favorite quote in the movie was said by Merlin to Arthur train your brain and not your muscles I like that nice job Juan now look how ridiculous this is with working lights. By the way, it smells like chocolate over here and it's amazing. I love that they have the handprints, the working lights, the Chinese theater, the roof looks amazing. This was made by Mary Rose. She said, I chose Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because I was inspired by the out of control train ride that you take through Runamark Park to get to the perfect picnic. Just like this Easter egg, things don't always go to plan and you can end up on a pretty crazy adventure. But I think Mary Rose did a great job. Look at the statues. Sorry. Next up, we have Maria, who did The Princess and the Frog. When I saw The Princess and the Frog, I thought it was so inspirational. I identified with Tiana. She followed her dream with her father's encouragement. It reminded me of my own father's encouragement to pursue a baking career. That's amazing. Is it? Yeah. It's a little dark, but you can see the stencil of Moana in the Easter egg. Look at the chocolate flowers, too. That's so cool. It looks so realistic. It's crazy. Over here, it looks like we got Daisy's house. 
Carolina and Monica says, Carolina loves the character Daisy because of her sense of fashion and independence. Monica's husband loves Donald Duck character. Both of us were from South America and we grew closer through this project. I love that. You see Daisy amazing. in the window. So they all have backs as well. So these are 3D. I love the hearts to make up the shingles. Just like the end of Runaway Railway, you have the perfect picnic on the back with the nothing can stop us now. There's Chuby and the fireworks, like the ending scene. That is so cool. And here's the back of the sword and the stone egg. That is legit, but wait, there's more. That's just one section. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. Oh, look, some traditional chocolate bunnies. Or not so traditional. These two are crazy. We used to have those growing up. Aurora said, my best friend growing up had a pond in her backyard. As children, we used to pretend that this was a giant koi pond and became fascinated with these fish and their habitat. That's fun. Again, this is all baked goods. So insane. All right, let's see what Meg got her inspiration from. I pulled inspiration from different stages of animation, including character model sheets, background design, and pencil test. That's cool. You can see the sketch, kind of like when you're drawing at the Animation Academy. Same thing. These are cool, Trisha. A carton of eggs is what inspired this year's design. I want to do something unconventional and bring villains to life. That's fun. Just your voice. Mary Rose, man, she's busy. And I'm loving the use of lights, Mary Rose. I visited the parks as a child with my father and we always watched the Main Street Electrical Parade from the train station at midnight. I was so excited to see Cinderella's coach uh, in the 2022, the parade that celebrated its 50th anniversary. And I love the use of the lights that she's doing this year. Great job, Mary Rose. Gotta love Peach Dragon. Monica did an amazing job here. I always resonated with Jasmine's independence. Seeing the recent live action movie of Aladdin and her new song, I knew I wanted to create an egg featuring her and her palace. That is incredible. Look at the little Jasmine over there too. The door slightly open. The stained glass looks legit. We got an egg rotating. Looks like a Beauty and the Beast. This is by Yadi. Every year my husband and I go to the Festival of the Arts. There is an artist, Darren Wilson, that created a Beauty and the Beast picture that sparked my inspiration for this year's egg. The thought behind the egg is that the beast is protecting the rose and all of his memories. And that is what's sketched behind. Oh, that's cool. And it's three-dimensional, so her face is drawn, but then her dress, you'll see as it turns, is three-dimensional, which is super cool, including the book. An egg is all this time, Brandy says. Dawn said, I thought the Main Street Electrical Parade was supposed to be making a comeback. Hey, who knows? Captain Kirk misses the parade so much. Colleen, you're right. There was no hidden Mickey in the grass on the uh, other one. Mark Mueller, what's going on? Lisa, how are you? Let's check out Al's Toy Barn. This one's awesome. This was by Justine. This is my third egg. I have always done a book theme. I started with a cookbook, then a children's book, and now a toy story. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it. I love it. John over here, look at all the characters on this egg. Hand drawn. Said, I've always loved painting and enjoying bringing my art to life in the form of an Easter egg. By having this egg painted live in our lobby, our guests are able to share my passion with me. That is so cool. Look at all the characters. What an amazing artist. This is massive. We got a whole kitchen set up here by Krista. 
says, I remember my grandmother's antique kitchen that was so comforting. When the Munchlings came out, I thought it was a perfect mix of Disney characters and baked goods. The egg combines the two things that I love, Disney and baking. That's incredible. With the eggs on the side and the cookbook and the sugar and the measuring spoons, come on. She's got another Easter basket. That's amazing. Crystal went above and beyond. I'm so sorry. Oh, Joanne's got two eggs over here. It says, upon seeing Elemental, the message resonated with me about how, uh, and how, uh, <laughs> resonated with me in how multiple cultures come together as one. I wanted to showcase the two main characters in an abstract way that inspire that message to our guest. I love that. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, yeah. Miss Potts. Potts. Oh, no, you're good. Here we go. We got some onward action. Look how cool that is. That van made out of chocolate. Chef Allison did an amazing job. She says, Emperor's New Groove is my favorite movie. I was so excited to create an egg inspired by Yzma. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly because I've never seen it, and I'm so sorry, everyone. I enjoyed putting an Easter twist on the original character with her holding an Easter egg. Look at the dragon on the back. Some more fun Easter bunnies and rabbits. Oh, this has got to be snacks. Yep. Look how cool that is. Yeah. Stephanie says, growing up coming to Disney, I always remember getting the snacks in the park. I wanted to create something iconic this year with all the guests would have a fond memory of. And yeah, you get the churro, the pretzel, the ice cream bar, the turkey leg, all the essentials coming out of a popcorn bucket with even some spilled on the floor. That's awesome. We'll go over here quick. It's another Yachty one. Yachty said, I made a Rolex cake once that had moving hands and I wanted to make a timepiece out of my egg. So I thought, what movie has a timepiece in it? Alice in Wonderland. I wanted to make the white rabbit as the focal point on top because he is the timekeeper. First of all, look at the detail in the flowers, which again, just the attention to detail. And this is all chocolate and look at the moving hands. Even the rabbit on top. Look at the detail, and you could bite into that. It's massive, doesn't even fit in the camera frame. Happy birthday. All right, let's see what Meg's got. This looks nice. So I love the Disney classic movies, and I love animals, so I thought that Bambi is the quintessential spring theme. I enjoy painting in all forms, whether it be acrylic paint or cocoa butter, as you see here. Painted on chocolate. And I love the butterflies going all the way around. It's legit. And over here, Katie. This is my egg is inspired by a springtime scene that is both magical and whimsical. I created a baby dragon hatching in an Easter-inspired garden. That's cute. I told you a Stacy story up, you know, where I was concerned about her TDI. She works here. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. It really helps. Once we hit 100, the magic happens. We get pumped out to the masses, so please help me out. Here are the backs of those same displays to show you how much work even went into the back side of the displays. Amazing with the moving hands. You can hear the piano player just started playing as well in the background. Which means I have to talk more. We got dinged last time by the piano. <laughs> There's the back of the Disney Parks snacks. The baby dragon coming out of the egg. And an incredible painting here of Bambi, Thumper. Again, that is painted on a chocolate Easter egg. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's go check out the backs of these displays as close as we can get. Here's the back of the Onward egg.
That's so cool. I love the magnets on the back of the kitchen display and even the little hidden Mickey right there. So many more characters in the back. I think that was Juan's egg? I don't remember. The back of Al toys bar, Al's toy barn. And then that spinning Beauty and the Beast egg, which is gorgeous. I'm sorry. You can also buy some fun stuff while you're here. They have, uh, they're open every day from nine to nine. They have an Easter marshmallow pop, fruity cereal Mickey pop, carrot blondie pop, the white chocolate bunny pop, the marshmallow egg, the lemon blueberry whoopie pie, the confetti pop, the cream cheese carrot coffee cake. That's fun to say. Oh, five C's. I like it. Cream cheese carrot coffee cake, cream cheese carrot coffee. Okay. Milk chocolate bunny, the macaron box, the bunny pop flower pop, the grand egg, paint your own chocolate egg kit, and the Easter treat box for 80 bucks. No discounts. You can see what they look like right here in this display. box up here where you get a little bit of everything plus this giant chocolate bunny and you could purchase all those items right here how's it going we're just making everybody hungry at home <laughs> it's awesome Thanks so much for being here. Of course, thank you. There's the back of Jasmine's palace. And I think it was Mary Rose with the lights for the electrical parade. So good. Yeah, really incredible. All the work that goes in. And there's even more over at the Contemporary, which we're going to go see. And there's another one being painted right here in front of us in the lobby. This is painting with cocoa butter. Absolutely incredible. It's so good. It's so, so good. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it's so good. <laughs> How's it going? Love it. Set in the mood. How are you doing today? I thought you were doing great. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just vibing with you. <laughs> All right, we're doing a little Disney stream, looking to check out the Easter eggs. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Let's do some Disney. Oh, yeah. This is perfect for a big scan of the room. Here we go.
so beautiful. Yeah, I have to say, of all the eggs, my top, if I had to pick, they're all amazing. But I do love the Alice in Wonderland one. It is legit. Moving hands, both sides, the detail, the painting, the texture. Even on the side, we didn't show the side, but the side here, people are taking pictures, so I'll zoom in. With the cards and the mirror. The hidden Mickey with the uh, cogs there. So know who did that clock? Yachty, who's painting right now? Beautiful. By the way, that, that Alice egg is so incredible. It is like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Egg of the year for sure, if not the decade. So good. It's so good. That one, oh, the one on the rotating is gorgeous. I love it. It needs a 3D display. You're so talented. Thanks for being here. All right. This Disney music and all these Easter eggs are making me sappy. Such a state of appreciation. That Alice one is so good. I forgot it was here last year. It was a blur. Last, last spring was a blur. Today's been kind of a crazy day, so it's nice to be here with all of you. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can bring you some magic from here at Walt Disney World. And being with all of you and hanging cheers me up. Puts me in a great mood. Since it is... Never mind. <laughs> Let's just enjoy this moment. If you can do me a bit spirit of the Easter season, uh, if you are religious, if you can send some thoughts, prayers, or just some positive vibes. Uh, my nephew is uh, in the hospital, but hope they're right, okay. Uh, just a little, little something, something. But uh, I'll take all the positive vibes, great energy for my little nephew who turns one on Easter. The cutest little baby ever. I'm hoping he'll be out of the hospital and feeling good this weekend. I'm going home. It's uh, my father's birthday on Saturday. So I'm flying home to Long Island. I also have an engagement party on Friday night. So it was a perfect weekend to go home with everybody real quick. So if we're in New York, I'll be around for a quick weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and back to Orlando Sunday night. I leave three, well, I leave the house at 3.30 in the morning Friday, and I come back Sunday night at like 10 o'clock at night. So a quick weekend trip to Long Island if you're in the New York area. Here's the Enchanted Rose. It is a beautiful, beautiful lounge here at Walt Disney World. Although, a bit pricey, so bring those wallets. And a bit pricey for Disney. The hours are 3.30 to 11. But it's a beautiful vibe in here. You can come in. What I like is, well, normally you could sit outside, but not today. Also, if you remember far enough back, 
the Grand Flow Orchestra used to be right up here, but now it's just more lounge area because it does get busy. You can see right now, kind of early. It's only, I don't know, what is it, 5.15? And the lounge is already kind of heating up. You can imagine when the parks close and people are coming back from the parks. So Look at this painting of the castle. Gotta love good backlighting, even on a ceiling. Fantastic. All right, I think we're gonna head to our next stop. Oh, the monorail's here now. There's no way we'll make it. Uh, let's go try to make it. Worst case, we'll do another lap. Or catch it with some chat. If you're going to go to Citrico's or Victoria and Albert's, they're both right here on the second floor, the monorail level. Both are fantastic. I, it's been a long time since I've been to Victoria and Albert's, uh, pre-pandemic days. It's very nice, uh, you know, jacket and pants are required for men. A nice outfit required for the ladies. Citrico's has a little bit of a lighter drive. What? I just aimed at the ground. Yeah. This is why you aimed at the ground. The security does not like to be recorded. And it's probably for our own safety, so. Whatever keeps us safe, you know? I don't know if this back's gonna be empty again, but well, we got some room right here. Let's hop in. Hi everyone. All right, our next stop, we're gonna cruise past the Magic Kingdom, head over to the Contemporary to look at the Easter displays over there as well. And I see we have over 100 people hanging out. Happy Monday, hope you're having a great week so far. I'm Pete, please hit the like button, subscribe, do all the things. Check out the description for all the socials. But enough of this big red face, let's look at the beautiful Walt Disney World Resort outside. Farewell, Grand Floridian. If you did miss it, you can always come back, check it out on the replay. <laughs> And if you're looking for more uh, of an extensive tour of the Grand Flow, again, you can always search our channel. Let's see what I missed in the chat when we were walking around. Say hi to some people. Yeah, they re those eggs really are absolutely mind-blowing. Such amazing talent. Oh, let me show you the shoes. Please stand clear of the door. Yeah, if you're not aware, we're doing a meetup. If you're in town, uh, whether you're a local, you want to come hang out, or if uh, you happen to be here, or you want to come down, book your flights now. The last weekend in April, Thursday through Monday, we're doing a meetup and a hangout here at Disney. We don't charge anything, but you can go to the website, adventuresbycarney.fun, let us know you're coming, or hop in our Discord, let us know you're coming. And also we'll include you, I should be coming out with a more, Brandy and I are gonna work on it. I'm actually talking about it. Tomorrow night is our Patreon Zoom call, uh, but I, we will be kind of finalizing the itinerary, uh, I think in the next week or two. So you can let us know what you wanna to come to. I know some people are already reserving spots for some of the events, but dinners, you know, uh, we're, we're talking about doing a fireworks cruise, of course, a mini golf, among a lot of other fun activities. Look at this beautiful day right now. So yeah, go to adventuresbycarney.fun, not .com, .fun. And uh, also check out our Discord. What's going on, Adam? Hi, Megan. We're choppy? All right, let's fix that. How is it now? Megan, just up to the channel. Thanks so much, Megan G, appreciate that. Yeah, there's weird connection issues when you go in and out of the Disney resorts because it tries to force you to join the Wi-Fi and I'm trying to stay off of it because typically we have a clearer picture. It should be clear now, if not, let me know. It might happen walking in and out of the resorts. Just hit refresh if it ever is choppy or weird. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Thanks for posting the links, Colleen. Becca's excited to see the other, yeah, so there's even more uh, Easter eggs over at the Contemporary. That's where we're headed now. Look at this view. Thanks, Don. 
Thanks, Lynette. Hi, Andrew C. Boston Drew in the house. By the way, we got the suggestion to do this Easter uh, egg stream today in our Discord. So if you want to suggest a stream, whether it's a live stream or an edited video, go check out our Discord. It's free. It's easy. Just sign up. Use your name. I recommend using your real name or your YouTube name so we know who you are. Hi, Rebecca Dolan. Pete, I heard you're rocking out Friday night at the brewery. I'm going to try and maybe come early to see you or after, before or after the engagement party. I also heard it's the Bayshore Parade on Saturday, which is, uh, I might try to make the tail end of that too. Thanks everybody who's sending nice thoughts and prayers. I appreciate it. I know it'll all work out. I'm just uh, always good to have more positive vibes, and good energy and prayers in your corner. Christina Wise, what's going on? Says seeing Disney through your camera lens makes me happy as well. Disney from a distance is nice to have playing in the office while I work. That's awesome. Thanks, Christina. Brandy, the prestigious Egg of the Decade Award is legit. We should make one and go drop it off to her. That's it. New mission. Mr. Dave, what's up? Great to see you. Happy Monday. Brandy, <laughs> for the piano player, can we request Sandstorm? That's so funny. Close these doors. We need an AC. <laughs> Robert, can I get my face painted there? I mean, do you have an egg-shaped head? It might work. I think you got a nice, balanced dome. I think you're okay. The Mickey and Minnie one's awesome. I would say my favorite, even though it's from last year, is the uh, Alice. But Runaway Railway is a close second for this year. I like all the detail, the eggs uh, around it, the scenery around it, the Chinese theater, the lights, the roof on the Chinese theater. It's hard when you do something that's like in real life. It's got to be almost perfect. If you do a cartoony version of a cartoon, it's not bad. But when you're trying to do something that's like three-dimensional that you see in real life, I don't know. I give her a lot of credit. All right, next stop, the contemporary. Let's take a look at the Magic Kingdom. Oh, the castle. Main Street Station. Well, that was fun. But that's our next stop. Disney's Contemporary Resort with the Bay Lake Tower next door. For some more of Easter action here at Walt Disney World. This bus loop brings back so many memories. I think it still holds like a really big nostalgia thing for me because obviously I don't use it as much if ever now that I live here. But I remember these like core memories, like my one trip as a kid and then like my few trips when I used to come down to visit girlfriends in the DCP or with girlfriends, like taking the bus from the Disney Resort and getting dropped off there and being all excited to walk into the Magic Kingdom or the long nights walking back to it. And as a local, you really don't use the buses <laughs> to go to Magic Kingdom. Like, I think it might have been once ever in the last four and a half years. We're going right into the contemporary. The monorail goes into the resort, if you're not aware. There's our Bay Lake Ballers Court. Shout out to the Bay Lake Ballers. This is the Bay Lake Tower. You can connect to it from the contemporary. That walkway is on the same floor as the Easter displays, I believe which should be the fourth floor. <coughs> Do you want to go? 
once again, please hit that like button. It really does help. We're only 25 likes away from 100, and that's when the magic happens. Let's go. We can do it. Thank you. All right, we're headed all the way down. Ooh, those are cool. Well, I should take a little monorail ride with me. Ooh, another monorail pulling in. How exciting. <laughs> Robert T. Billy Bowlers. Hi, Christina G. Just got home from a Disney vacation. I hope you had the best time. Andrew X, are they theme park Easter eggs or Easter eggs? <laughs> That's what I said when we were getting on the monorail before uh, at the Polynesian. I was like, we're going to see actual Easter eggs, not like Easter eggs hidden in the theme park. Some Mary Blair action. Again, if there's ever a connection issue, just hit refresh. Let me know in the chat, but also hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. Hey. All right. We started at the Polynesian. We went over the Grand Flow. And now we are at the Contemporary Resort. We're going to head down the escalator and go check out some of the Easter displays here. I'm very excited. So long, Monorail. Thanks for the ride, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. There are restrooms right when you get off the Monorail here, which is very convenient. check out I believe it's usually down over here maybe perhaps it could be down in the lobby too I know they do their Christmas baking spectacular display over here but yeah I think it might be down in the main lobby on the first floor all good but since you're watching Adventures by Carney, and I love you, and I'm so happy you're here, I'm going to show you something really cool. So as you can see, anyone can take the monorail here. Let's say you're the Magic Kingdom. They don't check to make sure you're a guest here or anything. It just, you know, be a good person. Don't make noise. Follow the rules. But a really cool spot to watch the fireworks if you're not at the Magic Kingdom and you want to watch fireworks is right through these doors. As you come outside, one, look at this monorail pulling up. What a shot. One, the monorail goes right above you in this spot. Look at this shot. But also, there's chairs here. And they're facing the corner because you could watch fireworks from right here. Come early, they pump in the music. You got a nice black sky and the fireworks shoot off over the Magic Kingdom and you could watch them right here. It's a super top secret though, don't tell anyone. It's an Adventures by Carney exclusive. And also if you have anyone in your party that uh, vapes, smokes, emits smoke, this is the smoking area. This is also where you pick up that connecting bridge over to the Bay Lake Tower so you don't have to walk through the parking lot. But pretty cool, right? Oh, look at that timing. We're on fire today. We got 110 people hanging out, only 77 likes. Come on, let's go. If everyone hits the like button right now, we can hit 100. That's the goal. Let's do it. Hey, Jonas, what's going on? 
Thanks, Dilo, for promoting and being so kind in the chat. All right, let's head back inside and go find us some contemporary Easter eggs. I didn't realize you could hit your head on these. It's like right there. We'll walk through the store this time because, you know, people like merch. Whenever I see the puzzles like this, these signature puzzles, I always think of the pandemic because when the first place to reopen here at Disney after the pandemic was Disney Springs. And then when the Disney store opened up, people would come in and clean out whatever they put on the shelves the night before. And it was nuts. I was uh, working for WNT at the time. So I go in and kind of document what was going on. And it was crazy. Like, just... And puzzles. Remember when I was obsessed with puzzles during the pandemic? Hey, look who's here. Look, look at the little kid spirit jerseys. Those are adorable. I like that shirt. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Stop the madness. That's cute too. Hanging with my besties. All I'm saying is packaging means I want to buy this just because of the packaging. That's it. But we can't. Must resist urge to spend any money. Let's get out of here. I felt my wallet getting thinner. I mean, we all use credit cards. A lot of expression. That's pretty much irrelevant. All right, we're heading down. We're headed down, down. Outer Rim Lounge, if you're looking for a place to grab a drink after uh, 4 o'clock, or it might be 3.30 like the other lounges. Right here, Outer Rim. Great little spot. We used to come here a lot when they did Tables Wonderland. They also have crafts here during the day. Uh, if you're looking to come do some crafts. Here's the recreation calendar for March. Let's see what's going on this month. Yeah, so here we go. The, uh, the outer room, we were just talking about this. The Magic Mosaics. Create your very own one-of-a-kind Mary Blair mosaic. And we did that. You can check that out right here on the channel. They have... Um, it's super cool. You can do the five-legged goat. You can do the monorail. Really neat. Ooh, beats on the bay. Monday and Friday at 7.30. Light up the night with activities for all ages. That's fun. Game night on Wednesday nights with a scavenger hunt. That's fun. Pickleball clinic. Wednesdays at 9 a.m. That's so much fun. We did that over at the boardwalk. And it was really neat. Me and Laura went and played. She wasn't the biggest fan. Uh, she thinks it's a lot of rules. But I guess me, growing up with tennis, like it, pretty easy to pick up. I had a blast. Although, I didn't realize I was playing against like a state champion. And I was exhausted. I almost passed out. But it's fun. Only 15 likes away from 100. Let's go. I see 113 people hanging out. Again, if everyone, you can just listen. If you're on a phone or a computer, it's really easy to hit the like button. Just give it a little tap, tap. You can smash it. If you're on a TV, you got to hit up or something on your remote. But it really helps. And it means a lot. Ooh, right now, the Disney leadership. Hmm. Oh. Disney is here. By the way, if you're going to the California Grill, here's the check-in. But right now, they have the imagination, imagination compass. I don't know why I said it like that. You could also, on this level, besides go to the California Grill, uh, access the pool area out these doors, in or out, just down the staircase. There's that fun little picture spot. You used to be able to get your watercraft rentals and whatnot. There's another set of doors about 50 yards down as well. All right, let's head down to the lobby and find us some... These Easter eggs are turning out to be real Easter eggs. Ben B, what's up? Said, I had to rewind for that secret spot. Cool that it's a smoking section too. Not a lot of those in Cali, I'm sure. Well, you can't smoke in any of the parks here. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. Steakhouse 71. Remember when this was the wave? And look at this. We have found it. Easter egg display. Let's tell you all about it first. 
This year's display consists of seven new eggs, where cast get to choose their own Disney theme. Themes include Vanellope Von Schweetz, Fantasia Miss Potato Head, Little Mermaid, Minnie's Cookie Jar, Mickey's Popcorn Bucket, and Eve from Wally. Returning favorites include the Contemporary Bakery Cast Egg, the Mary Blair Egg, and the 25-inch, 50-pound dark chocolate egg covered in an edible 23-carat gold leaf. Bakery cast members use over 200 pounds of dark white and milk chocolate, along with rolled fondant, modeling chocolate, various cocoa butter colors, gum paste, and sugar. Cast utilize various techniques, such as hand painting with cocoa butter. Can you find all 10 Hidden Mickeys on our hidden five-legged oat? Oh, snap. I love a challenge. Let's start right here. This is cool. I love that painted on the back wall. That is so much fun. A little Alice one here. We can't get as close here, so we'll use the power of the zoom. I love it. Up. You have the temporary bakery staff on that egg. I kind of love that with all the names. That's fun. The Eve with, from Wally with the rotating thing in the. Look at that. That's so cool. That's fun. Let's go. Sorry to move the camera fast. We're going to try and go over here so I don't get anyone's way. Love that. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing. It was all started by a mouse. Love the mini cookie jar. That's a cool Lion King one back there too. Love the Nightmare Before Christmas egg. And look at this beautiful vase made out of chocolate with the chocolate flowers. That's incredible. Again, if you're just joining us, we're here at Disney's Contemporary, where we're doing the Contemporary and Grand Flow. We already did the Grand Flow. If you missed it, you can always check it out, rewind after the stream. But these are all made out of different types of chocolate fondant. That's a cool Vanellope Von Sweet Sugar Rush. And they paint them with cocoa butter. Incredible. I love the little birdhouse, too. You can see a little peep inside. There's a little bird inside. Can you see it? Hold on, let's see if I can get a clearer picture. I put my water bottle down. I don't want to block people. A little chickadee. I missed a potato head. And there is that gigantic 25 inch, 50 pound dark chocolate egg covered in 23 carat gold leaf. I love that it's 23 carat instead of 24. Like D23, get it? Oh, there we go. What a display. Again, if you missed it, we also did the Grand Floridian earlier. You can always check that out if you rewind after stream. All right, let's head back up, see what else is fun around here. They also have, which I'm going to use right now, what about a refill station? Hold on. Okay, got to open the water bottle. By the way, if you got one of these, you're one of the lucky we're sold out now, but the Adventures by Carney water bottles are amazing. Now, let's see if I can open it with one. Oh, wait, we got to do this in there. Just dumped water all over my shirt, like a pro. Like the big mess that I am. It's got water all over my shirt, but it's okay, cause you can't see it, but all these people can. California Grill is fantastic as well. It is on the roof of the Contemporary. 
I really enjoy it. Great food, great beverages. And also, they dim the lights during fireworks, pump in the music, and you could watch it with a floor-to-ceiling glass. Right now would be a perfect time. Maybe a little bit later, because I think the sun sets at like 6.30. So I would get reservations like right before sunset and you can watch the sun go down. And then what you can do is you're allowed to hang out. You can hang out at the bar, you can drink. I mean, some meals there take three, four hours. Back when I had a lot more money, <laughs> we used to go there and just have a blast. But even if you do end your meal before fireworks, uh, with that receipt, you can head back up during fireworks right before and go watch fireworks upstairs with your receipt from your meal earlier on that day. Also here at the Contemporary, before we take another monorail ride, like I was saying before, you have Outer Rim, Chef Mickey's, and the Contempo Cafe. Of course, this beautiful Mary Blair mural. You got your elevators here, and then you got restrooms and a monorail entrance over here. I have to aim this at the floor when we go through security. So it's a great time to hit the like button because we're only 11 likes away. Let's go. All right, our next stop is, well, we're gonna get off the Polynesian, but technically we're gonna stop at the TTC, the Ticket and Transportation Center, but we'll give you some beautiful views of the Seven Seas Lagoon. And here's an elevated view of what I just showed you. So this is the Contempo area. Then back here is Chef Mickey's, a character dining experience. You can go for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. In the distance, you can see Wilderness Lodge, an amazing resort. Oh, are we gonna make it? Nah. Did they just close the doors? Well, we can chat. Anyone have any questions, comments, thoughts? Again, oh no, they're just opening the doors now. Perfect timing. Again, for all the Patreons, I highly encourage everyone to check out our Patreon page, patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. Big shout out to all the Patreons. Couldn't do the channel without them. They're amazing. And tomorrow is our Zoom call. And while we're sitting here looking at this Fantasia merch, I would be remiss not to mention our amazing channel sponsor, J. L. I just mixed it up my head. I'm sorry. I'm reading a sign to my left while trying to do initials. Okay, let's run that back. <laughs> Sorry. All right, we'll do it on the we'll do it on the monorail because uh, I gotta read this sign and stay up front. All right. Uh oh, looks pretty full. Let's we can get on here. As I was saying about the store, because I'll talk now that we're walking. Uh, SJG3 collectibles are absolutely amazing. Our channel sponsor, and I say they're amazing, and I can back it up because they have over 800 products listed in their store. They put new items in every single day, and they have a 100% positive feedback rating on eBay after 25 years. That's crazy. 100% positive feedback, 25 years of customers with items shipping out every day that's wild oh let's do robert's trick all the way to the back of the bus so yeah please go check them out you can go to ebay.com backslash str backslash sjg3 collectibles or check them out on twitter or x at sjg3 col and go support them tell them i sent you big shout out to vince and the team they are absolutely amazing so this isn't my camera this is a dirty window we had someone up here with some windex but you can see the sun coming down over the seven seas lagoon a man-made lagoon to think this was all just level ground and they took all the land from this lagoon and built up the magic kingdom which is how we have our utilidors those secret hallways underneath the magic kingdom pretty empty car back here Good evening, everyone. Welcome aboard Monorail orange our next stop is going to be the transportation plan to the center home of the magic kingdom parking lot if you're standing, please hold on to those silver handrails and never ever 
keen against those automatic doors. Once again, welcome aboard our lovely Monroe Orange. Welcome aboard. For those who stand What's up, Joey? Just mousing around in the house. Thank you, Colleen, for posting the link to SJG3 Collectibles. Also, if you just go to eBay, you can search on the stores for SJG3 uh, Collectibles, if that's easier. But I definitely recommend checking them out. And there's not just expensive stuff, like, you know... You know, expensive stuff. But there's items for everybody. Like I said, over 800 items. And Vince is amazing. Look at these views. You can kind of see the four seasons over there. There's the Marriott World Gateway back there. Here is Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Absolutely amazing. Pacific Northwest vibe. We're there a lot as well if you want to check out some other streams we've done there. Well, let's go back to this sunset over the lagoon. We're only six likes away from 100. Please hit that like button. You can see the Grand Floridian over there to the right. Polynesian on your left. That new tower going up in the middle. We're not getting off here, but this is the TTC. The Transportation and Ticket Center. Busy over here at the Switch going over to Epcot. We had a fun little Valentine's Day monorail chat. Me and Ryan, shout out to Ryan. He was also amazing on our Flower and Garden stream. So if you missed either one of those, go check those out. We did monorail chats, Valentine's Day, the most romantic places at Disney, the best date nights, uh, some of our favorite restaurants, or some other, even if you're not dining, uh, date nights on the cheap, just romantic places. So go check out that live stream. And again, if you missed our Flower and Garden opening day stream, over six hours trying as much of the new food and drink as we could handle until we all tapped out. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll get off here and show you something. Let's do that. Let's go for a walk. It's a beautiful day. Let's walk, because I want to show you something. And I got to get my steps in anyway. I think I'll go for a walk outside. All right, if we're going to the parking, you're going left. If you're going to Epcot, you're going right. We're going to go to the Magic Kingdom parking. Hi, how are you? So everyone headed to Epcot's going to go underneath and back up to the other side. We are going to head down to the TTC because, one, we haven't been here in a while. And, two, I want to show you something fun. So if you're coming to the Magic Kingdom via car, this is where you park. Or if you're transferring from Epcot, let's say you're coming over here and you did Epcot in the morning, you would come this way as well. Although I'd recommend just staying on the monorail and going to the Magic Kingdom. But yes, if you're coming via car or if you're getting dropped off by Uber or Lyft, they will drop you off here at the Transportation and Ticket Center. Now, when you're coming down the monorail, all your parking and Uber and Lyft drop off is to your left. But if you're coming in in the morning, you're going to walk up this way and you have three options. You can take the ferry boat, which is right there. You can head up these ramps to the parks. You're most likely, if you're parking here in the morning, going to go up the center ramp that has the big monorail sign. Look at that shot. So that will take you directly. So there's a, an express and then there's the resort line. So we did the resort line, which stops at all three resorts and the Magic Kingdom, as well as here. Then there's the Express, which just goes from here straight to the Magic Kingdom and back. None of the resort stops. They all tend to be pretty crowded. I 
I'm a big fan of the ferry boat, although I know there's like monorail nostalgia. When I used to, even before I lived here, I would want to take the monorail, but not with the masses. So I typically in the mornings would ferry boat it uh, and then take the monorail back in like the middle of the day if I was doing like a midday break or ferry boat there and back. And then on a non-park day, just come like hit the resorts and take the monorail around to get that monorail vibe. There's also a Joffrey's here if you want that pick-me-up. Coffee, espresso, pastries, fun stuff. And then straight across here when you're coming off of the monorail is your Heroes and Villains parking lot. Again, you got a little bit of a walk headed to the Uber and Lyft. You're just going to follow kind of like this semicircle around. And that is where your Uber and Lyft is. As well as some of if uh, you're taking a bus from a non-Disney resort. If you're taking like a shuttle bus from other resorts, they tend to park over there as well. And these are pretty well labeled. You can see Magic Kingdom monorail, Epcot monorail, and the resort hotels monorail. But we are gonna go this way. So like, uh, for those who weren't here in the beginning, we started our stream over at Disney's Polynesian Resort. And that is where my car is. And we're gonna show you around over there too. But you can actually walk to the Polynesian from the TTC right here. And I'll show you how. But first, I have to use a restroom. We're going to the opera. So uh, I'm gonna trust everyone not to steal this and just leave my phone out here. It always works. But if anyone steals you, just take a screenshot, all right? Hi everyone, I'm Pete. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Well, what's going on with this hat? Jeez, it's not level at all. It looks like a maniac. All right, I'll be right back. Just don't let anyone steal you. It's a nice day. All right, we'll give you a little ferry boat action. I'll be right back and I'll show you some of the fun trails and we'll go walk around Disney's Polynesia Resort. Guess who's back? Back again. Happy Monday, everyone. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And we went over 100 likes. That's what I'm talking about. If you haven't hit the like button yet, you can still do it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Give it a try. You can always try it and unsubscribe. People do it. I'm sad about it. Every time I lose a subscriber, I'm like, what did I do? I rack my brain trying to get better. But every day, a little bit better. Let me show you where we're walking. Enough of this big red face. But if you ever do see me out in the parks, come up and say hi. So we're gonna walk like we're headed to the trams. There's a map of the parking lot here. Always remember where you park. It, uh, I recommend just taking a picture because you will for, I mean, sometimes people forget. It's, they're crazy days here. We're all the way down here. You got the Heroes and Villains parking lot. So we're gonna head on over here. Just like we're gonna go to this tram. What a beautiful day. I also love these quiet moments at Walt Disney World, right? You got hundreds of thousands of people here at Walt Disney World every single day.
Felix Gomez, what's going on? Says, good evening, Adventures by Carney. So it's always a pleasure to be back at beautiful Walt Disney World. Hope everyone is doing great tonight. Thanks, Felix. Hey, Susan's here. What's up, Susan? Hi, Uncle Aardvark. Vince in the house. All right, so we're leaving the TTC, as you can see clearly marked on this poll. So yeah, if you're right by the trams, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook a right and kind of follow this tram loop where they pull in. We're gonna go for a little walk. And this is a great time of day to do a little exploring at the Polynesian Village Resort because the torches are lit, the sun is setting, they just turned the lights on. And this little walkway takes you right in. Look both ways, okay, see them safe. Colleen says, this is so gorgeous. I totally agree. By the way, if you want to follow in between the streams or get notified, I mean, you get notified of streams if you just subscribe, get the bell on, hit all notifications. But I also update my socials. So my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter or X is at your WDW guy. My TikTok is adventures by Carney. That's also our discord. If you want to search it in discord, which is absolutely amazing and free and a fantastic community of just positive people. And Adventure by Carney is also our Patreon. It's also the website, adventurebycarney.fun. Go check them all out. So if you're going to the parking lot, you just bang it left. But we're going to take the long way. We are going to head all the way around down by the water because it's such a beautiful night. So right now, we just walked in from the TTC right over here. We kind of started over here, and then we walked in this way. So we're going to go right and go out by the water and walk the beach area and Sunset Point. Come back down around, we'll show you the water launch, the Magic Kingdom, and then walk back in the resort. Just to give you an idea of where we're headed. It truly is such a beautiful resort. I mean, I've never stayed here as a guest, but I love coming here. And I'm at this resort all the time. How's it going? That's cute, take a little stroll. Look at the castle, can you see it? We're passing Morea. Again, thanks for spending your Monday evening. Well, at least it's evening here on the East Coast. But no matter where you're watching from, thanks for hanging out with me. I know there's a lot of options and it means a lot. So sincerely, thank you so much. This is like the kind of places where I take that all in and just give thanks. How fortunate and lucky am I that people actually, one, watch the channel, and two, that I get to hang out right here. So this plane is really pushing it. You won't see a lot of aircraft directly over the Magic Kingdom because it technically isn't that loud. So I think that's about as close as you can get uh, and kind of circle around the Magic Kingdom because there's a no-fly zone over the Magic Kingdom. However, if you're over at the other parks, you will see air helicopters most of the day because they do helicopter tours all over the place here in Orlando and go over the parks. Magic Kingdom is the only one that got it because when they filed for it years ago, they were able to keep extending it. But all the theme parks don't have it because then every theme park in Orlando would be eligible to have it, <laughs> you know, around the world. And I'm not saying that's not a bad thing, but you would run out of certain sky space, especially for these helicopters and uh, more you know, let's say non-commercial aircraft. Here's one of the ferry boats that's pulling, pulling in. So like a lot of the Disney resorts, these are three stories. Then you have the Bora Bora bungalows. You actually can tour one if you want. Uh, if you go inside and talk to the DVC people, it's the one right here on the end is always set up for tours. Uh, also, it kind of makes sense because the closest to the ferry so it's kind of the loudest with the horn. Not that it makes a big difference, but at least you have the building to block it. But they're all beautiful. They all have plunge pools in the back. We've done a bunch of tours and experiences in them here on the channel. So if you want to check it out, just search the channel. Getting bungalow bougie. Maybe I'll drop another one soon. I have so much 
content <laughs> from here backed up. I love the beach down here at night. The clouds kind of got in the way of the sun, but it gives us this nice, I don't know, kind of a painted sky. Another little thing, I love the details, the paint, uh, the painted, the raked sand every morning. Look at this view right here. Just cutting right between the two bungalows. Cinderella's castle right there. Robert, I agree that they should have been hot tubs. I think, I mean, again, I don't know when these were built or refurbed last, but there's gotta be a reason that they're not hot tubs, whether it's the jets or electricity, I don't know. Because it would make so much more sense to have the hot tubs on the back, especially because these are so costly. Bungalow bougie. I don't know, I used to say this is the dream spot, but uh, shout out to the Garvey clan, if they're watching. I went and checked out uh, some of the Wilderness Lodge rooms. Oh my gosh, they're insane. Uh, and I'm talking about the DVC rooms. The standard rooms are nice too, I mean, a lot of the standard rooms in Disney property are just that, kind of a standard room. But once you get into some of these DVC rooms, whoo, they are gorgeous. Also, I'll never forget like the two-story BLT, uh, Bailey Tower room that I, saw, that I was in that once. Oh, it was so cool. I know I don't even watch. There's a bunch of all these resorts. I mean, if you have the big DVC, you know, two, three bedroom rooms, they are gorgeous. What a nice night for a walk. And again, I just love that feeling of sometimes being like alone at Disney because you're so big. So many people here, so many things happening. It literally is like its own city running 24-7, 365, never closing, unless there's a global pandemic. But uh, it's really special. A lot of memories. That was trippy. Some animal just literally jumped like right behind me right there. And it's hiding because it saw me, it better hide. I love the animals. There was some great content I saw this morning. I'm not sure if I shared it with some people or I might've reposted it, I'm not sure but just some all the <laughs> Florida alligator content. There was this one video of how to know if there's an alligator in the water in Florida. And the guy walks you to the edge of the water, goes, get a little closer, get a little closer. Here's what you gotta do. He goes, it's water in Florida. <laughs> Every water, if it is water in Florida, there's an alligator in it. And it's true, we are at the headwaters of the Everglades, over a million alligators in Florida. And kind of the thing is, uh, don't get too close to the water. That's why there's ropes and nets here. But if you're in Florida, I mean, they won't bother you. They're not gonna charge out of the water and get you. Just be aware of your surroundings and definitely don't go play in any open water in Florida. There is a pool, I think like every seven feet in Florida somewhere. I saw another crazy video of an alligator swimming in the ocean here in Florida <laughs> this morning too, it was nuts. It reminds me of the time Lauren and I went uh, night kayaking. I'm not sure if I ever posted that video or not. I gotta go check. If I did, you should go watch it. But if I didn't, well, maybe I'll post this week. But we did some night kayaking and uh, our guide was like, you know, alligators don't really mess with us because we're kind of, this is salt water and they like the fresh water. He's like, so every once in a while you'll see, a, you know, an alligator or two, but it's very rare. As he's saying that, right next to our kayak, <laughs> alligator just comes right next to me and Lauren. And Lauren loves the alligators. So she's like, this is awesome. And I'm like, Lauren, keep your paddle, arms and legs inside the vehicle. And uh, we saw, yeah, two or three alligators kind of swimming across this little salt water inlet. Apparently they go over to the golf course to lay out in the mornings or at night. And we were between a golf course and this other like preserve. It was wild. Alligators swimming right underneath our kayak. It's crazy. Definitely gotta post that video. It was also cool because we went during the time of year where they have the bioluminescence in the water. So you put your net down in the water and uh, the bioluminescence kind of lights up a little bit. It wasn't as bright. I think we went either at the very beginning or end of the season, but it was still very neat. And that was over uh, on the Atlantic Ocean side, over on the East Coast. 
in the Cocoa Beach area, kind of by uh, where the cruises launch. So all these chairs are set up because you can watch fireworks from right here, and they do pump in the music at night. Also down here, you can see the, there's a whole bunch of people because we're roasting marshmallows. You can do your own s'mores. They sell the kits right here. And right over the fire, you can melt your mallow, your chocolate. Let's head up this way. Hi, Suzanne. Great to see you. Shout out to the Richie squad. So when we started the stream, I started here because I wanted to give you an update on the tower. And here you can kind of get a good view. You can see uh, that the back monorail side was painted. You can see this side halfway painted. But all the glass uh, windows went in and a lot of the balcony doors. Just think the first floor uh, has to get theirs done last, which makes sense. Coming along, they say possibly this year. Pool, this is the main pool. There's two pools here. This one's 10 to 10. I like it. It's got the grotto. It's got the water slide, the kid area. Oh, thank you so much. Um, the splash pad. They also have games and a bar over on this end. You don't have to bring a towel. You got your own towels here. They also have the little safety vest for the little ones. One of several hot tubs here or jacuzzis. This one's the infinity one, so it's kind of awesome. Your walk-in entrance over here. Look how cool. And all the Disney water is heated, so you can go in year-round. Kind of perfect weather right now. I wish I had a bathing suit. Although I have to go take care of some stuff after this. Let's see what's going on today. They had the uh, make-your-own nut lays. I don't even know the first word. Cuckoo? Cuckoo? Cuckooey? 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 Cacaoey? Cuckooey. Nut lays. Then here, there was a pool party at three. They're doing the campfire right now. We just passed that. And then tonight, uh, there's the Aloha After Dark at 7.30. This is where they do a lot of the games. There's also some ping pong, table tennis. You could walk underneath the grotto. There's a restroom underneath there. The Barefoot Pool Bar. One of my favorite margaritas on property right here. There's another restroom right there as well. Those are locker room restrooms, which are nice. So you could shower, change, give yourself some space. But one of my favorite margaritas on property is the Rose Gold Sunset Margarita with the Resposado tequila, with the Cointreau, mango, guava, and ginger. Oh, 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 it is so good. So next time you're staying here, invite me. We'll come have some margaritas together, hang by the pool, and then go over to the Magic Kingdom together. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, but I do love seeing everyone when they're in town. So please, uh, if you do want to see me, more notice the better. Please, uh, in our Discord, we have a, a little spot with the Carney Crew meetups where I try to see people. If I know a lot of people are in one park on one day, like I'll do a live stream from there or I'll go hang out and say hi. Like this Wednesday, I'll be at Epcot. We'll be live from Epcot Wednesday, Flower and Garden. But I know we're going to have a few different groups of people at Epcot on Wednesday. So we'll say hi to a bunch of different people. Oh, here comes a birthday cruise. We're going to be doing one of these nighttime cruises as well during our Carney Crew meetup in April. The last weekend in April, I think it's the 20 something. The 20, it's the last weekend in April, Thursday through Monday. It's free. Go check out Adventures by Carney.fun or the Discord. But uh, yeah, we're going to be taking one of these boats out, cruising around at night, having some drinks, playing some music, doing some fun facts. They got maps here. If you go right through these doors, that's where Trader Sam's is. Uh, I know Andrew's watching. I know we have a lot of runners here. Here's the running trail. They kind of had to change it because of the construction. But, you know, you get about 0.8. If you start where we are now, run down to the end, come back, do this loop, and back around. Uh, if we were headed this way, this is the old dinner show. Uh, and now the new tower is being built. So we'll head inside. Look at look how beautiful this is. Stop it.
So if you're trying to get into Trader Sam's, you got to come early. There's usually about a two hour wait. This is where it's at right here. Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. It's open from three to midnight. I would say get here at two of the latest to get your name on the list. But if you can't get in, then may I suggest heading outside to Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace. You can get a lot of the same drinks. You don't get all the fun fair, uh, you know, the things happening when you order, but you get these beautiful views. Typically there's live music, probably on a break. We're not starting yet, but right back there, you can see the setup. Oh no, there's an iPad, probably on a break. But you either have a guitar player or a ukulele player set in the mood. Also here on the terrace, when they do fireworks, if you're sitting along the outside rail, which is what I would recommend, you can see the fireworks and they pump in the music here at night as well for fireworks. Inside here is the Polynesian's quick service, Captain Cooks. Which you can mobile order, which I recommend always mobile ordering. It's so easy, convenient. Make sure you have the My Disney Experience app downloaded before you get here. Play around on it at home, become comfortable with it because it will come in handy. Again, you can see, I love this, because you can see the Main Street Station and Cinderella's Castle in the flame of the fire. Kid splash pad over to the left. It's an awesome splash pad. I've played in it with many of my nieces and nephews or my friend's kids. The great lawn, it's kind of just like a big, I don't even, they don't even need to build playgrounds anymore, just a big lawn and the kids will have a blast. This is also where they do, I like your hat. This is also where they uh, <laughs> do uh, a lot of the activities during the day and at night. So if you're looking for that activities lawn, it's right by the main pool. We can see this mountain, if you want to call it that. This is where the lawn is, right outside the main lobby. We're going to continue deeper into the resort just to show you a few more things since we're here. Again, I know our thumbnail, if you're just tuning in, said Easter stuff. We did all the Easter things over at Grand Floridian and the Contemporary. But we started here and I wanted to end here. We did a little construction update, but also since we're here, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour because it's so beautiful and it's just a perfect night to do it. it. Gives me all the vibes. You have the second pool over here, not too far of a walk. And what's nice about this pool also has a bar, also has restrooms and you can order food right to your chair uh, if you want to order food as well, which is pretty neat. So again, to get into the pool areas, you do need a magic band. They also have you have those refillable cups. They have the soda station right over there. They have coffee and tea. Another cool thing I'll show you before we head on out. One, well, I'll show you several things, but one, just want to thank everyone again for watching. I hope everyone had a fantastic Monday so far. It's not over yet. And wishing you an amazing week. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button. It really does mean a lot and it helps so much. If you haven't done so yet, you can still do it. And thanks to everyone who's a subscriber, whether you just subscribed today or you've been a subscriber for a while. It amazes me every day that you want to watch. So thanks so much. Helping make my dreams and wishes come true. You know how many stars I've wished upon? Um, so this loops right back around to basically if we went straight, we'd kind of, if we could walk through that building, which you can, there's a door over there, uh, you'd go back out towards the bungalows. So since we just did that, I'm going to turn in here. And I know this may seem confusing, but when you're here, they'll get the hang of it. It's not too bad because there's enough focal points. Like you'll know where the pool is. Okay. I know how to get here. Like you'll see for the grand ceremonial house, uh, those intertwining, I don't know, what would you even call those? Beams. So once you get enough focal points, you kind of know where you are. The Tongaroa Terrace. Also spread out around this resort, you can um, bring your own food as well. Uh, you are allowed to bring snacks and food into the park. A lot of people don't realize that, but if you want to make your own food here, they have barbecue areas and a lot of the nicer, well, let's say the deluxe resorts to be safe. 
uh, have barbecue areas. I'll go show you one. And they're pretty neat. I think we should do this on one of the, uh, maybe this meetup or the next one. Just kind of have a little fun little, maybe midday barbecue or something. Hi, CJL. Happy birthday. Peaches, what's up? So thanks for taking us to see the fun Easter eggs and decor. You're absolutely welcome. So back over here, first of all, how beautiful is this? Come on. With the palm trees. Lauren and I went to a, uh, like a reserve here, uh, botanical garden this past weekend. And it's funny because a lot of the palm trees are like browning on the bottom. So I'm like, oh, the trees are changing colors <laughs> like in New York in the fall. But it really is great. They have the bamboo, the palm trees, and this beautiful pink tree that just, oh, it's fantastic. But yeah, they got a little barbecue area here, which is kind of fun. I like it. They got four picnic tables, two different grills. And you just come down here and fire it up. They also have uh, electrical outlets next to the grill. So if you want to plug in another appliance to kind of make your food, uh, again, if you drove here, you might have more stuff. If you flew here, you may not, but you could always have food delivered, uh, like groceries delivered. There's tons of apps. But yeah, if you want to have a little maybe non-park day, you have a, a rest day. Instead of buying food from there, you want to make your own burgers, dogs, brats, chicken, fish. You can do that. And they have these little benches. And you kind of uh, are in this little bubble here where you're away from everything. Like, look at this. 360 degrees. And you got cover in case you get some weather. Because here in Florida, you tend to get some weather. Look how cool this is. They're just starting to bud. It's a beautiful day at Walt Disney World. A beautiful day at Walt Disney World. Ooh, will you subscribe? <laughs> oh, we're having fun. We're having a good time, having a good time. If you're looking for Disney transportation to the parks, you can walk to the lobby and find it, but the buses pick up a little bit closer down to this end, so your best bet where all these people are walking is to the sidewalk, because Disney buses pick up kind of behind this area. I'll show you. We'll walk back where we came to show you these two buildings, but then we'll make a left and we'll show you where the Disney buses pick up. Also, they could be headed to the monorail. So in here, you have your health services, kind of like a utility building for them, some security. That is a cast member only area. Kind of, if you're in there, it's you don't want to be in there. Something either happened or uh, <laughs> with security or medically. More offices for cast members. I love this face. There's one down there and up there. Just looks so happy. It's kind of how I look in selfies. I feel like it's like a spitting image. I guarantee they could open up my phone when it was locked. We're gonna head out this way, past these bamboo shoots. I love all the flames and the torches. And the monorail circles the outside, so I know we're heading towards the parking lot. It's a good way to figure it out. And this little hut right here, that's where the Disney buses pick you up. So if you're headed to the other theme parks besides the Magic Kingdom, that's kind of where you wanna go. And it's covered, like I said, it does. We do have some weather here in Florida, especially if you're coming during July, August, September, probably into some October, but it will rain every day. Not for long, just a quick fun rain to say, hey, gotta cool everything down. Big shout out again to the Patreons. Go check out our Patreon program, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. Tomorrow night, Tuesday night, is our Patreon Zoom call. 
if you're on those top two levels, uh, come zoom with me. Come zoom with me. Let's zoom, let's zoom away. I uh, can't wait to see everybody. I really look forward to it every month where uh, I'm pretty much all access and also running new ideas, concepts by my Patreon community. And we just talk about anything or anything. Anything you want. It's crazy. And we have a great time. So yeah, if you're a Patreon member, first of all, see you tomorrow night. And if you're not, jump in. I'm going to try and go live again tomorrow. We're definitely live Wednesday from Epcot. But make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on so you don't miss anything. Once again, just want to thank everyone so much for watching. It uh, means the world to me. This is very exciting stuff we have here. I have a YouTube channel and people are actually watching and it's thanks to you. And if there was nobody watching, I wouldn't do this. So thanks for making the magic happen. Again, go follow the socials too to kind of see the fun in between. Uh, I think tonight I will be over at the Central Florida Fair. I got to take care of some stuff there. So if you're going to that, I'll see you there. But I'll probably do some updating on Instagram and whatnot. So again, the Instagram is at official Carney. The, what else do we have? Twitter at your WDW guy. The TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The Discord is Adventures by Carney. Shout out to the Discord community. Go check that out too. Uh, the Patreon, Adventures by Carney. The website, adventuresbycarney.fun. We got merch. We got a meetup coming up in April. All those details are on the Discord and the website. Thanks to Colleen for posting them. And thanks for hanging out with me. This is a fun little stream. Easter displays are up here at Walt Disney World in Orlando. I'm excited about it. And they were incredible. They really were special. If you missed any of it, go rewind. You can watch the stream back to all the parts you missed. And go check out some uh, streams you might have missed. Explore the channel. Go find some old videos. Leave a comment if you watch an old video. I love why I uh, get a random comment on a, like a video from a year ago. It's fun. Izzo is notorious for that. By the way, shout out to Izzo's Place, another great YouTube channel. Shout out to Tomorrowland Traveler, another great YouTube channel. Um, big fans of them. And uh, they are awesome people. All right, that's it. Gotta hop in my car. Have a fantastic rest of your Monday evening. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. If you haven't hit the like button yet, you can still do so. Subscribe, get the bell on, hit the bell notifications, do all the things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. And if we could do me one last favor, please be kind to one another. You never know what anyone's going through, and let's make the world a better place. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Good night. Good night. I'm singing a lot tonight. Thanks, Jasmine. I didn't give Jasmine a shout out. Happy birthday, CJL. All right, I'm out of here. See you later.